We are back in the dad bod pod for the first time in 2024. New year. Same dad. Same bod. Same bod. Same bod, that's for sure. How was your New Year's? It was good. Uneventful. Yeah, you got kids. Of course it's uneventful. <laughs> Can't do shit. <laughs> Did you stay up? Yeah, uh, I didn't want to. But yeah. at the point, like it was just like, I have to. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, you get so close. Yeah. And those, that countdown is almost like your eyes like slowly closing. It's like, <laughs> add five minutes, that's the countdown until I'm asleep. Yeah. Do you remember in college when like that was like the time that you would go to wherever you were going? Yeah. Countdown started. We got to go. We got to (laughs) go. Yeah, that was like you were like high energy, like getting out the door. Yeah, not now. Yeah, no. uh, New Year's Eve. New Year's Eve. Yeah, it is New Year's Eve. It was New Year's Eve. It's completely different when when you have kids. I'm looking forward to like maybe like two or three years from now where like we could all get together and the kids could just, first off, you know, they could probably stay up a little bit later. You could push them. Maybe not till midnight. Slumber party. They have a little sleepover, yeah. and the kids are, you know, in a different area or, you know, doing whatever. I think that would be. Uh, yeah, I was thinking about that just actually on New Year's when we were doing nothing. Yeah. So, like, yeah, that'll be a lot of fun because especially when you can let kids, like, sleep at other people's house. Like, they don't need, like, their. They're all the crap and yeah. lugging two backpacks full of just a bunch of stuff yeah. to take with you. Kids falling asleep on, like, folding chairs. Yeah, exactly. That's the dream. Oh, my God. <laughs> Soon. I'd like to think. Yeah. Soon there's light at the end of the tunnel, right? Mm, Is there yeah. light? Is there light at the end of the tunnel? I, I don't, don't know. know unfortunately, <laughs> anytime you think there's light at the end of the tunnel, it just ends up being further, right? I just remember, like, I think about my dad saying our generation is soft. And then I'm thinking about me thinking that that generation is soft. Like, uh, how soft can we get? You know, it's, it, like, it's, it's, it's getting very sharp. These kids, these, these kids are going to need, they're going to need, like, Fiji water to oh go to God. sleep, you know? like What was that movie? It's like an Adam Sandler movie. It wasn't a good one, but, like, the whole shtick was that, like, he was rich and... His kids could only drink Voss water. Yeah, it was, uh, it's the big one. It, it's, a uh, Grown Ups. Grown Ups, okay. Yeah, it was a good movie. Solid movie. Solid it was a good movie. movie. I guess I thought it was something it was else. Grown Ups, too. Yeah. Oh. That's a good movie. Yeah, no, that's solid. But that's, that's, that's exactly what we're working that's towards. That's what yeah. we're working towards. Yep. Um, but, so, now that it's the new year, we figured we'd talk about what are some of the new year's resolutions <laughs> for us as dads, for us as parents. So, Rob, why don't you kick us off? Well, I'll start with, I could have done better. <laughs> but seriously, I, I feel like <laughs> there's opportunities. I've identified them. I've done a full SWOT analysis, and there was a whole lot in that O category, which is opportunities. <laughs> there were very minimal threats, though, so that's good. No, yeah, that's a good thing. Yeah, we've really baby-proofed. That's gone away, so that's important. <laughs> but... Yeah, no, I think uh, something for me that I, I feel like um, it's been a tough year. It's been a tough year for work. It's been a tough year for a lot of different reasons. And I think part of my New Year parenting resolution yeah. is just really being present in the yeah. moment. And uh, I feel like my my son turned three today. So, you know, just um, realizing, Parker. yeah. Realizing just like how quickly things move and like think about the amount of time I spend just, you know, scrolling on my phone or, um, you know, just doing things that really aren't adding to my day. And then I think about my kids growing up and I don't know, it just kind of weighs on me a little bit. So just thinking about what can I do to kind of take away from that and really what are the things that get me to that point where I feel like my mind needs to shut down and, yeah. and where am I spending my time and where am I managing my time and all that stuff? I mean, how about you? Are you feel similar? I, I'm in, the, in that way for sure. Um, I feel like that's a common thread that like, I even just hear just in general, like I want to be more present in, in other relationships, but the, with my kids it is. And I, I'm definitely, I, 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 you know, I'll admit to it. I, I have an issue sometimes with my phone and, but yeah. it's not even about that. It's more like I'm, you know, we're maybe we're talking about dad bod. Yeah. Or, you know, you had fantasy football just wrapping up. Fantasy's a huge conversation with me and some friends. You know what I mean? And, yep. Or, you know, just other things you might be going through or working on or looking up. Like, I'm constantly, you know, reading articles or even trying to learn something in a video. And I think being present is more important, right? Like, I feel like I almost want to, like, just kind of put my phone away, which yep. is very unlike me. 
Yeah, my phone's kind of always, I mean, you know, like my phone's, I always have my phone. It's pretty rare when I don't get back to someone pretty quickly. Um, and it's not like I'm neglecting my kids in any way or yeah. not spending time with them. Yeah, they're not unsafe. Right, yeah. Let's be clear. <laughs> they're not unsafe. Yeah, they they know when they see my phone. It's just like, oh, yeah. dad's on his phone. Let's yeah. go. Let's score some drugs. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but it's just, I think, like, taking it, like, they're not going to be this young that yeah. long. You know what I mean? And you always hear the things of, oh, you know, they'll get to that age where you're not the – only people to them that matter. They start getting friends. They start getting girlfriends. Yeah. They start doing whatever. And, you know, that obviously starts even, like, at a young age. Not, like, a real girlfriend. But, like, yeah. you know. You, you so, got to start scaring those kids off. Yeah, yeah. Right, yeah. real quick. <laughs> you're going to be the dad's best friend until they're 32, you know. The house is safe, except for when you're here. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and I'll make Anything sure your parents goes. are aware. Anything goes. <laughs> but I think it's just, like, I don't want to get to the point where I regret it. Yeah. And again, it's not like I'm not. What's your not, sneak though? Like, what are you doing when you're not paying full attention? Like, where do you go? On, on my phone. Yeah, just in general. Like, what what takes you out of the element? Like, what takes you out of the environment? Like, what's the thing that you're thinking about that kind of draws you away from what you're there's, actually doing? To be honest, there's a a lot yeah. of different things that do it, and then it's just because I like to. I, I I'm kind of busy. I have like a lot of things that go on. Like again, it could be this. I could be researching stuff about this. It, you know, I'm trying to do stuff with videography and other fields. So I'm looking into stuff about that again, fantasy football, sports, all like there's, there's a lot of it and it, it all comes back to my phone too. Right. Yep. So I feel like if I can put that away, that should open me up a little bit more and, and really focus in. But then of course, I mean, there are certain things that it's like, Oh, well, what if I missed, missed something? Yeah. You know what I mean? I don't know. But I think being present is something that I definitely want to try to be, more better at at least I should say yeah yeah it's tough I mean you need like your own like space right like you need your mind to be able to travel where it wants to travel at times and kind of shut down and parenting can be exhausting see so and what you just said is like a lot of it ends up being that it's not that I have to look up this article or watch that video yeah. at that exact moment but like a lot of times it might be like you know I get uh, I work I come home we eat dinner and then, like, you know, we might be downstairs playing, and then I might just, that's me, like, kind of letting my mind chill for a second. Yep. But at the same time, my kids are only probably up for another two and a half hours, so, like, let's try to do that later. But sometimes I, you know, struggle with that. Yeah. It's hard. I do the same thing. I think for me, my sneak is definitely, and it's not because I want this to happen. I think a lot of it comes back to like an anxiety thing, but my sneak goes back to work a lot. Yeah. I do that a lot. Um, I think that I always have email slacks yeah. always. On, it's on my phone. I'm mm -hmm. always looking. I'm always concerned. Um, yeah. And I, I just, I want to be better about it. Like yeah, as much as things can't always wait, they can, you know? And it's just like, it doesn't, some of the times I think about like, even when I'm doing that sneak and the information that I might be supplying back or having conversation right. about, a lot of it's not time sensitive. It's just, um, I don't know. I think it's an anxiety thing, like needing to be available. And I think that I need to get better at that because I, I can see that it impacts my children. I can see that it impacts like, and I don't know if you notice this, but I feel like when I neglect to engage and it's not that I'm not there, I'm just right. neglecting to engage, you get the hyperactivity. You yeah. get the hypersensitivity. Yep. You get a lot of those things where my kids, they're, they become very emotional mm -hmm. and they become very hyper. And, it, and, and I think a lot of it is not so much that they are hyper emotional. Maybe they are or, or hyper energetic. It's just that they want to do the things to get my attention That's away from where it exactly is. Exactly what it is. I feel like it's, they realize what you're doing. They don't, know that you're looking at whatever you're looking at, but they they're like, care. hey, that thing, yeah. it's in his hand again. He's not paying attention to me. What's the best way to get my attention? Yeah. You know, do go, fit. go yeah. nuts. Yeah. Go nuts. Do yeah. everything he doesn't like. Yeah. Those <laughs> cows, you know, and everything in that cow that looks like it needs to come <laughs> out. <laughs> you know? Yeah, it's a tough one. And I feel like if you talk to like a ton of parents, that's going to be like a really, really common yeah. item. 
And which, again, that's also part of kind of like the world that we live in now and how cell phones are. And especially if it comes to work, like my normal nine to five job, you know, I, for the most part, can kind of unplug at the end of the day, which is a big thing. Then I have things going on on the side where like that when I'm not on my nine to five, like that's where I'm like, all right, now I have to focus on this and I'm trying to do this, this, this. But, you know, at the the end of the day, like, you know, if it's a day that I'm at work, I really only get like three hours at the max with my yep. kids. So like, I want to be better at like, this is their three hours. Yeah. I want them to have that full dad. Exactly. For three hours. Yeah. It's weird. I mean, I don't know. Like I, I yeah. And it, and it becomes like, especially, and you think about it when you, you think back and you're like, Oh, well those three hours are full of like temper tantrums and hyperactivity and like the kids are going nuts. And it's like, how much of that am I contributing to? And that that's kind of where I've taken a step back. And it's an interesting way to think about it, honestly. Yeah, looking at 2024, and like, there's a lot of opportunity there for like, hey, maybe we just approach it a little differently. Maybe, you know, maybe me just shutting off. That that extra 10 minutes didn't even happen, but maybe me shutting off and my kids realizing that. Maybe, maybe that doesn't make the meltdown at yep. dinner. And maybe it doesn't, you know. I don't know. I, I think that's one of my goals. Um, I think health. In, in eating yeah that, that's been something especially with the holidays we've really been wavering from yeah um it's easy to just kind of do the same routine every single day chicken nuggets chicken nuggets they chicken lo- nuggets. they love chicken they nuggets. love chicken nuggets dino nuggets chicken nuggets man they just yeah so but it's like that's what it is chicken nuggets mac and cheese mac french and fries. cheese those fries. are the things that they love they peanut, love peanut butter and jelly and yeah. there's nothing wrong with peanut butter and jelly but like probably not the best thing for them to eat you know it's just i don't know just working that working back to that you know and it's just like i think in the past before i was a parent like new year's resolutions were about me yeah and like i should probably get healthier <laughs> if i'm being honest i mean there's there's a couple things i could do but like <laughs> i think that you pass those traits on i mean you you look at your kids and understand like what you're doing today and the thing and you narrow them into these unhealthy choices. Yeah. That's it's gonna be impactful for the rest of their lives. You know, they, they might suffer with obesity and self consciousness and all these different things that like I'm deciding right now because I don't have like the will to kind of push things on them. The pro- like why that's so tough is it, it's not like you know, this is just my kids, but for certain food items, like you just can't get them to eat it, even yeah. though you know for sure that if they just tried it and they tasted it, they would love it. Yeah. Right? Like I think of even just like a baked potato, right? Like yeah. giving them a little baked potato, like just a piece of, not that it's healthy, right? But like it's not a French fry. Yeah. You know what I mean? But like they won't. It's not a fried potato. Yeah. Like, right. <laughs> like they will not eat it. Yeah. They're just like, they, they just won't do that or they won't try a different kind of meat like or or anything like that we've we have a little bit of fighting between fruits they're generally pretty good oh yeah my god and that's the hidden cost of being a parent like (laughs) fruits fruits out the wazoo because it tastes good it's kind of sugary you know great it's healthy for them vegetables are very touch and go because you know one night for dinner they will just crush carrots like, oh, man, these cooked carrots are so good. Yep. The next day, you're like, all right, let's ride that train. Let's get them some more carrots. Yeah. What? I don't want this. I want. I don't want anything to do with this. And it's like, it's so touch and go. Yeah. Do you do anything like, no, like before you're done, you have to eat? All the time. All the time. Yeah. Same here. Yeah, Parker, Parker the older one, his, his new thing is, uh, let's make a deal. That's his he's, Let's make a deal. That's what he always says. He's always making deals, but we do it with him, and so he's picked up let's, on that. Let's make a deal. Except his, like, my deal is, like, eat your carrots, and then you can do this, right. or you can have this for dessert or whatever. <laughs> but his deals are always one-sided. It's like, <laughs> I want to make a deal, and I'm like, what's the deal? And he's like, give me daddy's phone. <laughs> and I'm like, okay, what are you going to do? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, all Absolutely right, that, that. nothing. I'm going to play with daddy's yeah. phone. <laughs> And I'm like, what's daddy going to do? He goes, you could take mommy's phone. And I'm like, okay. I'm like, what's mommy going to do? She can have daddy's phone. I'm like, but you got daddy's phone. Like, what the heck? But it's so funny, though. But it's true. Like, you, you kind of have to, like, bribe them and, like, get them to participate. And it's the same thing, right? Like, yeah. one day they'll eat 
they'll just crush green beans. They yep. love like cooked green beans. They like, oh, just yeah. crush it, and then the next day. But it's always the the best is like when somebody's babysitting and mm-hmm. you like set them up for a meal that you think is for success. Like, oh, dude, he ate. He smashed this last yeah. night. Like he went in. He had like <laughs> seconds. Like I was cleaning it out of yeah. his, you know, his his diaper. Like it was all over the place. And then you give it to him, and like, oh yeah, they didn't need any of that. And you're like, I can't win. You can't win. No, but. you can't, you definitely can't win. So what about you? What is what's your New Year's? I've got parenting? a few. Those are definitely those are definitely some of the key ones for me. I, I kind of want to work on my kids' sociability. Like, I, it's going to be a tougher one. But I don't know, my kids, uh, with COVID, especially towards the beginning, like, we were, we stayed home. Yeah. Like, we went nowhere. We saw no one. We really lived, like, a shelled lifestyle. They really knew me, obviously, like, us. They knew my parents. They knew my wife's parents. You know, they kind of, you know, my sister, yeah. her brother. But they are not great getting out in, like, a larger setting. Yeah. That goes, you know, family get togethers now and things like that. You know, we're bo- both, we have both our kids are in that kids strong class. Oh, you do that too? Yeah. Oh, oh yeah. I didn't know that. It's yeah, pretty it's great. Sweet. Yeah. We were there it's, today. It's awesome. But yeah. like, he, some days he really struggles and it's just, I, it's the sociability. Like, he, when, whenever we go somewhere into a big crowd like that, especially because again, in that kids strong class, they are, Hi Tommy, how are you? High five, let's handshake. Like they're they're in your face, and like yeah. he struggles with that. Yeah. Going to see like you know my family at family parties, he doesn't want to talk to anyone, and my family's very loud and outgoing, and they want to meet all the kids, and you know, and he he you know sticks his head in here, he cries, doesn't yeah. want to see anyone, doesn't want to do anything. It's on his terms. I'm gonna whine, I'm gonna cry, and it's 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 an issue. Luckily, you know, for Christmas that, you know, recently passed, um, on Christmas Eve, it was, they were the best they've ever been. So that was like a good, like, oh, this is, this is good. Let's ride this wave. But then we had a, a downslope. So I'm like, huh, but we know it's there. Yeah. You, you know what I mean? So I want to figure out, and I don't know what the answer is. This is just me talking about like what my goals are this year is to like, I don't know, try to find ways to maybe get him comfortable being uncomfortable and kind of bringing out himself because again at christmas eve he was having and this is tommy my oldest well actually both of them they both usually shell up like that but tommy's more vocal yeah. so you know it right you yeah know about it's like more. He, he, i can't i know i've seen you talk yeah you know, yeah. I know. <laughs> and it's like he was so they were both so happy and they were having so much fun and i'm just like there was a point at the party where i was like watching you know christmas eve football game there was that the uh, dallas miami game that ruined like three of my fantasy leagues but yeah. i was like i haven't seen my kids in like an hour because they're with the all the, of the, your kids having fun and playing yeah, and doing cool. whatever like so i want to figure out like what maybe was the secret sauce for him that night and and just kind of get him a little bit more comfortable do maybe any he, of maybe your he kids... got into the sauce maybe. yeah maybe, maybe. <laughs> yeah, maybe, he was maybe. Like, oh. damn it uncle brian <laughs> <laughs> um do your kids struggle with that at all? Sometimes. I feel like I feel like they, every time you guys come, like it's a party or whatever. Like, it's one thing if it's just you guys coming over, or us coming here. But like every party, I'm like, I walk in, my kids are freaking out, and then I see your kids walking in. Hi, hi. Yeah. I'm like, they get happy, and I'm like, damn. They're they're usually pretty good. They have their moments, yeah. but I would say that it's probably less than it is. Mm-hmm. Um, like even we, and for those who don't know, Kids Strong is basically like. I mean, how would you class it? It is little child boot camp. Well, it's boot camp. I would call it CrossFit. CrossFit's good. Yeah, like a little kid CrossFit. They were pushing plates mm-hmm. on the oh, floor. Yeah, yeah. They were doing the yeah. Um, when do yeah. you go? We go Tuesdays. Do you go in college? <sighs> we go on Saturdays. Oh, we did Saturday mornings. It was terrible. It's awful. One of us <laughs> is always hungover. Whoever's going, and, <laughs> and if you don't know, you're you do the activities with yeah. your kids. So I'm sitting eight a.m. Oh baby. Oh my god! The one day I'm like I'm on my deathbed, and are I'm just like col- run, jump. Are you going to college? Uh, yes. Are you? Yep. Oh, we were in that class with Nolan. Really? Yeah. For like no, ours is an eight. Ours is later ten, ten thirty. We were in like an eight a.m. class on Saturdays. Mm. Yeah, we should sync up. We go on Tuesdays. Tuesdays is pretty cool. It sucks. Five fifteen is tough. Oh, I couldn't. I don't yeah, think we could do that. Yeah, that's brutal. But but what were you saying? I'm sorry. No, it's cool. Like yeah, like today we had a moment, right? Like um, par- 
Parker, the older, he's he's always outgoing, mm-hmm. and our run the running joke in the Dude's family always is always got a smile. Yeah, yeah, the running joke in the family is the first um, creepy van with ice cream, and he's gone. <laughs> so <laughs> I mean, he is. We <laughs> we went we went to Chatter Splatter, um, and he was in the bounce house, and he was just people all walking around like looking at their kids, yeah. and they're like up against the, and he's just like hi. <laughs> <laughs> just like you don't know that guy. <laughs> Shut up. But um, no, I mean, I, it's less of a problem. But it be it becomes a problem sometimes, and it's not really explained. Um, I feel like because he's outgoing, like you're saying. Then when it happens, it's probably like, hold on, like why? Yeah, it was is this so weird. Now? Yeah. But no, I think I don't, and I don't know why or how um, that he got that way. I don't. I mean, I didn't grow up that way. I yeah. was very like in my shell, like very. Um, not very outgoing at all. So, like, the fact that he has that in court, yeah, my wife is the exact same way. So, <laughs> I don't know where, yeah, like, the where he plan. got that, but that kid, he might be a problem. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, he might be a problem, class clown, who knows. But, uh, yeah, that, it, it's tough, though, because I feel like maybe Nolan's a little more reserved and, like, freaks you out a little bit, right? Because you just, like, I don't, you know, you, you just want them to be, a better version of yourself. Yeah. Like if that makes sense, like yeah. going into school, like just hoping they have the confidence to do what you didn't totally. And like, I think that's all part of it. Right. And like, I, I don't, yeah, I don't know if there's like a perfect recipe or whatever. And it's a problem. I don't think, I really don't think there is. And we like have to play the long game of letting each kid kind of develop into who they are. And it'll be interesting for people, especially in our case where we have two boys, 14 months apart. Yeah. It'll be interesting to see as they get older where one of them kind of may like kind of manipulate the other into situations that they're not necessarily comfortable with. Right. Like we're saying for your instance, Parker's very outgoing. He's yeah. Nolan is not right. So it's like, Oh, are they going to be six or seven year olds? And like Nolan's like, well, I have to do and be yeah. like this because he is. And same with us, like Adam, our little one, Dude is a firecracker. He is going to be trouble. Like, we, he is going to be something. Tommy's a little bit more reserved. So, like, at that point, hopefully Tommy doesn't negatively affect Adam in the sense that he's like, oh, maybe I'm being too much and he shells himself. Or vice versa, does Adam then make Tommy be like, oh, I should be more. <laughs> like, I, you know what you I mean? You got to hope the older one is, like, kind of pulling in the reins a little bit when they can because – uh yeah, it's the same situation, Nolan, and uh, yeah, he just the kid walks into walls and just keeps moving like nothing happened. Like, that <laughs> is Adam. It's just so Meanwhile, funny. Tommy, like I, it, the funniest thing happened because you know right now I don't know about for you, but for a while you know there'd be times where our oldest is picking on the little one, oh, and and there are times where I'm just like, man, seconds. you know, like you're kind of being a little bit of an asshole. Like yeah, I kind of can't yeah. wait until the little one can. Do you encourage it? I'm like terrible because I say it sometimes. <laughs> and like, I'm like, and I said, I, I think I even said it today. That's how bad I am. I'm like, just Nolan, just pop him. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, he doesn't know what that means, but like, I'm just like, give him a taste of his own. I mean, there are times where Adam will hit Tommy and I'm yeah. like, oh, Adam. Yeah. In hey, my Tom, head, I'm like, don't do that. Yeah, n- nice job. Get him. <laughs> You're like, don't, don't do that. There was, there was like one time that we were all just like kind of running around and <clears throat> they happened to go the opposite ways. And Adam and Tommy tried to go through the same door at the same time. And Tommy is much bigger than Adam both yeah. in height and weight. They hit. It's a tank, man. Tommy it's... flopped like a fish, <laughs> hit the ground, started screaming. Adam was like, yeah, <laughs> and kept running. And I was like, dude, he is just going to be an absolute cannon. Like, yeah. Uh, that's funny. I know we just got off on a little bit of a, a tangent there, but <laughs> yeah, was that's good like, I mean, that's like, that's real life. Like that's what's, <laughs> that's what we have to see what unfolds and kind of adapt to that. What about? I know this is going to be a pretty common one between the two of us, but potty training. I hate potty training. Where are you guys at? We're nowhere. <laughs> we are. We are. How big do diaper sizes go? Because <laughs> I am all about it. It is the worst thing in the entire world, and it's definitely part of my twenty twenty four plan. But yeah. like. I don't know. Q3, Q4 is looking pretty good right now. <laughs> it's uh, it's not. Um, yeah, just 
There's no interest there. Yeah. And, and the, the weird thing is, is like you said, they're 14 months apart. The older one has no interest. The youngest one would probably like poo in a Gatorade bottle if I let him. You know what I really? mean? Like he is, he wants to do it. And I get weird because I'm like, well, maybe I just start with him. Maybe. And just work backwards. Wait, that's interesting. Yeah. Like he, we get the, the potty out and you say, you know, the older one, sit down. He does, he's no, no, no. No, he throws a fit, throws a fit. Give me your phone. I'll maybe I'll sit down. Yeah. And uh give me an M and M. That's he's, he's yeah. trying to make deals, mm-hmm. you know. And then he just wants to sit <laughs> there. And then deal. the younger one's like, I'll do it for nothing. Yeah. <laughs> I'll do you want me to sit I, there? I'll sit there. He's like, chant my name. <laughs> you know, like that's what he does. Like if you no, chant look. that's no, what, no, that's what we do. We do that. Yeah, we clap and we and we And he sits on it. Dude, I think he oh, should yeah. absolutely do it. And then if you end up potty training him, or at least getting him going. That might make Parker look at it and be like, oh, he does. He gets jealous. Yeah, yeah that's what I'm exactly. hoping. Yeah. But it is kind of weird. It's like, do you potty train your younger one before the older one? Like, kids, like, it's interesting. I've never even, like, thought of that. But yeah, like, I would 100%. Yeah. The Maybe concept's that's weird, but at the same time, it's all about the kid, the individual, how they adapt to the change, the fears, the the privacy, the it's all different. If you got one that's like, yeah, let's do it. I'm ready to rip. Like it will, I would assume in this situation, it would only make Parker then be like, wait, he's doing this and I'm yeah. struggling. I got to try to do this. That's what I'm thinking. It, yeah. Diapers are just like so nice though. You know, they like are, you don't really, aren't. you don't really have accidents with diapers. Because you don't. It's, 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 that's it's, what they're for. We're in a weird spot with our oldest because he's potty trained in the sense of peeing. Yeah, pooping. He's really struggling with. He's pooped once on the potty. Um, we've tried. We went through like a a week of where we like we're gonna. This is happening. You don't get a diaper. Yeah. Like, we're doing this. And he ended up holding his poop for, like, four days. And, like, it got to the <laughs> That's point. Dedication. And That's dedication. Like, That's Gandhi shit right at there. At first, in our thought, like, it was like, okay, he's going to have no choice but to go. Yeah. But I'm reading a lot about it in Stool Withholding. It's the name. Uh, it's, like, a huge, very common issue with it. And it got to the point where I was like, like, I'm worried about his health now, right? So I'm like, yeah. okay. One of the big things you see is like they're for pooping, especially like they're just not ready, you know. So we were like, "Hey, let's." So the one day he wouldn't do it, and I'm like, "All right, well, if we put a diaper on you, will you poop?" And he was like, "Yeah," and we put a diaper on him, he and he pooped he pooped in like three and a half minutes. Wow! So peeing, he we still put a diaper on him to go to sleep because I'm we're not ready for the transition into the bed and letting him get out and all this cuz he's still very comfortable in his crib yeah. and that whole situation. So we're not ready for that. And what's funny is like naps <laughs> most of the time he wakes up dry. Yeah. He has control and he's actually been waking up a little bit more in the middle of the night. Now, he always used to rock solid. Never heard from him. Now he's waking up more and we think that it's actually him waking up having to pee. Yeah. So whether he does it a little, but like even in the morning, like his diapers aren't like full. Yeah, you know what I mean. So, yep. but it's about like getting him on the potty. Sometimes he, you know, he'll fight it or do whatever. I don't want to. I don't have to go. I don't have to do this. And you just, you know, these are the situations that where you pee, you wake up, cool, we're gonna pee. Right before nap, you have to pee. Um, after you wake up from nap, you pee. Sometime in the middle of the night, like or not middle of the night, like after dinner in that yeah. time, you pee. Right before bed, you pee. After a couple and brewskis. After a couple of brewskis, you're gonna, <laughs> you're pee, gonna pee yeah, six yeah. times. <laughs> so we're we're working through that. The poop is a big issue, but like, has he like, wh- like, what do you? I, I think you're in an interesting situation. I'm yeah. not gonna lie. The whole thing with now nah, what you're saying about Nolan, like, yep. that's a very. I'm gonna write a book about it. I think. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, yeah, it's weird. <laughs> Body training by Rob for yeah. Dead Body. <laughs> Go backwards, potty training. Let's actually make a vlog series. Mm. We could potty training with Rob. We definitely could the potty training with Rob vlog. It would be pretty shitty <laughs> <laughs> in more ways than one. <laughs> yeah, I mean, yeah. I was just thinking that stool withholding too. It's like every, it's like going on a weekend trip with your every girlfriend you've ever gone on a weekend trip with. You know, that's a thing. <laughs> 
<laughs> yeah. You know, give them privacy and three minutes later, yeah, there you, you go. go. Bow. <laughs> yeah, it's, it, you know, I, I didn't really think that, again, you know, you, your parents, you always think of the best of your child. You're like, no, he's not holding his shit. Like, I mean, he was holding your shit. Yeah. Like that, like that was a little scary. And that made me, honestly, I'm kind of glad that happened because it kind of changed my mindset a little bit. So yeah. I'm like, all right, like he's just not ready. And we have to try to do that as, as well as he adapted to peeing and going out. So like we have like a little mini potty. Is he a stander? He stands, he sits, Woo! like he switches, man. Good G. It's fine. <laughs> he, uh. I started saying, "Okay, give it a little, give it a little wiggle." I don't know why I said I said wiggle one time wiggle. instead of shake. I, and now he's he'll, he'll finish and then he'll be like, "All right, give it a little wiggle and we'll give it a little wiggle and get down." He loves flushing the toilet, so that helps. Wiggle, I know. It's better than shake, I guess. Right? <laughs> More so because it's just funny. It's just a funny word. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, it's kind of funny when I'm like, "Did you give it a wiggle?" <laughs> Yeah, Dad, I gave it a wiggle. <laughs> it's a little wiggle. Yeah, but I don't know. The potty training is like, and even then, like, okay, cool, we're doing well with peeing now. We're working on pooping, but then you have to do a whole new level, which is the middle of the night and being yeah. out of a crib. and all. That's a whole, we could have a whole. It's more than a wiggle there. Yeah, yeah that's a whole wipe oh. situation. I, we're going to have to. When do they start wiping themselves? That's probably the real question. Unfortunately, two yeah. years too late. Yeah, probably 17, right? <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> oh, Could you imagine? <laughs> that would be terrible. Oh, my God. Getting a call from your kid's high school as freshman. Hey, yeah. uh, he's all done. <laughs> <laughs> he's, look, he's looking for an assist. <laughs> you have to just start bribing the school nurse to, like, hey, I need you to take care of this for me. My God. Oh, my God. So... <laughs> These are just some of probably the many things that we want to work on this year, 2024, which I'm still trying to wrap my head around that it's 2024. Mm -hmm. But you know what? Parenting is tough. We're new to it. You're probably new to it. We're all figuring that this out as we go. And, you know, to recap what we've done for the first, you know, the last six months of 2023, we hope that all of the videos and stuff that we've been bringing you so far has been helpful in some way, shape, or form, whether that's been about just talking about topics like this and getting you to think about what your 2024, you know, resolutions are as a parent or some of the products that you've gotten uh, for your kids. But if you would do us a favor, subscribe to the channel. We really appreciate it. Yeah. Until next time, we'll see you again real soon. Real soon. Real soon.